How do you strike the balance between vigilance and discrimination? I don't think a 14-year-old should ever get arrested for bringing a clock to school. Right now, the biggest discrimination going on is against Christian business owners and individuals who believe in traditional forms of marriage. They're throwing this woman in jail in Kentucky. Let's talk about that. Kim Davis is different from Islamist radicals from the Middle East. And an elected official can't say that I'm not going to follow that law if it conflicts with my beliefs. I think she should have been fired, and if she'd worked for me, I would have fired her. Someone who refuses to defy a judge's unconstitutional verdict is ridiculed and criticized, chastised, because she's standing up and denying, not denying her God and her faith. But how many bakers, how many florists, how many pastors, how many clerks are we going to throw in jail? I'd like the left to give us a list of jobs that Christians aren't allowed to have. If we're not allowed to be clerks, bakers, musicians, caterers, are we allowed to be pastors Governor anymore? Governor Jindal. We're not allowed to be elected officials. For you, the wedding cake baker or the gay couple or the Baptist preacher, radical Islam would kill you all if they could. You can't just, you know, talk about this stuff and insult leaders around the world and expect a good result. You have to do this with a steady hand. You know, I think Mr. Trump is a wonderful entertainer. He's been terrific at that business. Do we want someone with that kind of character, that kind of careless language to be negotiating with Putin? I think really there's a sophomore quality that is entertaining about Mr. Trump, but I am worried. I'm very concerned about him having him in charge of the nuclear weapons because I think his response, his, his visceral response to attack people on their appearance, short, tall, fat, ugly, my goodness, that happened in junior high. Are we not way above that? Would we not all be worried to have someone like that in charge of the nuclear arsenal? Jake, Jake, and Mr. Trump, we don't need an apprentice in the White House. We don't need an apprentice in the White House. We have one right now. We don't know who you are or where you're going. We need someone who can actually get the job done. You're using I the would talking... do so much better than Mr. that. Mr. Trump, you're using the talking points of the Democrats.